Hello everyone, my name is Draconic Rose and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. So last episode we had a group of visitors deal with a dragon. However, there's still another one on the map. And if this thing decides to attack our colonists because it doesn't really have any other easy prey, it's going to kill everyone, basically. It's, it's, um, t yeah. Uh, it has a damage of two, but you know that I think that is its breath attack because melee DPS is a whooping eight point sixty eight. Oh boy, yeah. Dragons are not something to trifle with, especially not the big ones. So for the time being. I am going to go see what my areas are. Okay, so inside base is going to be our new area. And I'm going to have it set so that I can keep colonists, you know, inside the base. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And this will help me like keep them out of trouble, of course, uh, and just avoid the whole dragon thing. This one can count because uh, it, it does have access from the inside. Uh, we do want to finish those things, but mostly we just want to make sure that people aren't getting eaten. Right? Yes? Good. So we also have uh, three new mods. The first one is not an actual mod, it's just a replacement of another one. I replaced RimWorld Search Agency with another search bar mod because uh, RimWorld Search Agency has a uh, hauling hysteresis uh, embedded into it and that component of the mod is actually causing problems which um, get uh, colonists stuck and stuff. So I removed it and uh, replaced it. Uh, the second mod I have is Stabilize, which allows me to stabilize a colonist out in the field instead of bringing them back, uh, wasting time getting them medicine and stuff, because sometimes all of those seconds are a critical. The final third mod is the Nurse Job. So what this mod does, it's basically it separates some of the more basic, less urgent tasks away from the doctor job so that uh, you can do tending and operating at a higher priority than doing other nursing things such as feeding and washing and stuff like that. And even ones that are not good doctors, they can do the nursing stuff because it doesn't really care about the, the medical skill. So that is just a quality of life thing. So for today, we need to recover that and we need to get this guy out. Um, we need to finish this over here and the animal area as well. I do want to build a granite door over here just so that we have uh, an easy way into the animal zone and you know out uh, into the world. Uh, hopefully, no one is going to be hunted. Where is our dragon friend? There they are. Oh, they're they're uh, right up up upstate, aren't they? Yeah, we'll have to uh, keep an eye on them and uh, make sure we react fast as soon as that hunting pop up shows up, because it will show up. Uh, but we are also uh, needing a research project and with dragons around I think we definitely are going to need turrets. So let's go grab gun turrets. So that is a good one and we're going to need armor and of course better weapons. So those will be our research priorities. Uh, for the next few episodes and hopefully we will be able to mount the kind of defense that can take even a dragon out. Uh, I'm suddenly really glad that raids cannot spawn with dragons, I think. Nah. 
I don't have any mods that add uh, tame animals to raids. So that would be neat. I might look into that. Uh, anyway, uh, things need to be done. We mostly need crafting done, so... Lots of crafting stuff going. Increase Blade and Laetha's priorities. Maybe even Felix. And hopefully that way, yeah, more... You know, chunks will be turned into blocks. As soon as possible. Now that looked like the game was trying to generate jobs. And uh, do not like. Now this dragon is going to sleep. It's going to be hungry in the morning. That's the thing. Might just let people out at night and only at night. Alright, they have a man-hunting pack. Man-hunting jaguars have entered the area. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Okay, um, let me change a thing here. Why were these selected for soldiers? Did we have something in the world that I forgot about? No, it's quite probable. But uh, no, it doesn't look like it. There's a bandit camp. No, that looks like whatever it was, it was done. Uh, so let's just put this on anything. Because it's the auto policy, of course. Um, and now let's just grab everyone. Gear up and go inside the base, please. And uh, you can go do that. Everyone is a soldier. Yes, though this does need an adjustment. Because I have realized that it has been set to mostly. Uh, I'll practically ignore armor. Because the armors we do have, they do lower some other stats. But we definitely want people to have armor. Oh god, Felix. Okay, uh, I need you to go inside anyway. And let's hope Milo can... no. Oh no, Felix. Well, he's not going to be able to go inside. So let's wait until some of the ranged get their stuff together. We're gonna have Melo like try and do that. Well, not quite right now, I guess. Let's put in some people under guard. Milo, poke your head out, poke back in. I need you to not avoid friendly fire because it's going to be necessary. Everyone else get in positions. Hopefully Milo can hold the fort and not die. That would, that would be quite the, you know, the not dying part. And a group from the Empire is visiting the colony. That could work in our favor. Is that all of the, the Jaguars, I think? Yes, yes it is. So now I see someone has gone towards Felix. Very good. Uh, just a question. In six hours. No, that's fine. Six hours is definitely long enough to bring him back and uh, treat him properly. But, uh, you know, in case we wanted to, I could uh, just stabilize him out in the field. We can even show that with the Jaguars, we can stabilize them right there. Uh, we don't want to do that for the time being. Uh, we do want to make sure that Granite Door gets closed at some point. Uh, hopefully before the dragon wakes up. I do have visitors, but they um, they'll not be taken care of, at least for a while. Looks like we did have two of the jaguars, all well, three of them, not rot right away. Do you want Felix's legendary spear brought in relatively quick, if possible? We do have a lot of medicine here, but looks like we might need a little bit more. I'm going to take out another row 
and make sure we have the space for that. Oh, the dragon is awake uh, and its hunger is going to go under 50, which is going to mean it will try and do some things. I need this jaguar moved so that the door can close. Can we? Yeah, we do have this as cremate corpses, but we can also do another cremate corpse that is just going to be for rotten animals. Okay, so that is going to help. We should be able to get it done. You are relaxing socially. Can you burn things? Okay, Sage is moving that that uh, leopard. That's fine by me. Sage, what? Uh, okay. Uh, I would prefer if it didn't do that, but uh, okay, I'll, uh, I'll work with it. Uh, this way it's a, a little bit faster and we get rid of the corpses. So that is the best. Do want to bring this one in because it is meat for us. And how's the dragon? Oh, it's getting hungry. It is definitely getting hungry. Which is uh, not great. Where are my peoples? Blade is coming down here. Ah, uh, because he's trying to burn those. Um... Well, I'm actually going to fix this by giving it a more limited radius. Now Blade should go back and ignore those corpses out there. Yes, very good. See, this is the best way to use the waste, just to cremate the corpses in the burnt pit. Works uh, pretty nice. Okay, so now Blade is opening up uh, this little spot. Which is very good, and uh, I'll let them work, let them recover, and I'll be back when and if something else happens. We got an event. Camels, abandoned or lost, have wandered into the colony and joined us. So now we have camels. Unfortunately, I I'm pretty sure you can hear the battle music. Yeah, this gold dragon is already going to hunt them, like, right away. No chance. It was hungry, I was keeping my people uh, inside so that it would um, starve and leave. But with the, the animals coming in, yeah, it just didn't happen. Uh, let's uh, clear that, because I didn't remember I used that area for something else. So that dragon is fed again and will likely stay around for a while more. That just does not jive. Anyway, uh, letting people out at night because the dragon is asleep. Uh, but not during the day, because it is not asleep during the day. Uh, that uh, should do uh, to keep us safe from it, at least for the time being. Uh, yes, so uh, with a new camel in tow, which one was the one that survived? The female, perfect, because that way I think, yeah, we can get milk and wool from her, so we'll keep her around. Um, and then we we will see what happens uh, to her. But uh, I'll set up some hay grass for her and I'll bring you back when something else happens. Alright, the inevitable has attempted to happen. Ancient gold dragon is hunting Laetha for food. Fortunately, Laetha is right there and so can be put inside the base. I wish she hadn't dropped that. Marcus did not quite make it inside. Hopefully, as it's charging its breath attack, the door has closed. Oh, that was uh, quite close. And it was enough to take out um, Marcus's shoulder. So, <laughs> you can see that dragons, they are not to be trifled with. Oh, I didn't manage to get the camel. And yeah, that's great. 
So now we have a dragon sleeping right outside our base. That is not going to be good. We did get the um, gunsmithing uh, up, but there's nothing in gunsmithing that we really want. Maybe the hand cannon? Yeah, nothing that, that we really want to make ourselves uh, quite yet. Uh, but soon, soon, soon. Um, also, we do just definitely want the turrets. Turrets are really, really what we are going to need to defeat this thing, like really beefy and heavy turrets. Now I'm still hoping that now that we have the animals inside and people as well, that the dragon will get too hungry to stay and will leave the map. There are hippopotamuses on the map. But so far, it hasn't seemed inclined to go for them. And so I wonder if they are strong enough that they intimidate even a dragon. Now that could be, uh, if you look at the melee DPS, it's quite close. Um, the dragon still does a lot more, of course, and has a lot, of, a lot better stats. Uh, but. Uh, they should still put up a fight. Now we'll have to see what happens when the dragon reaches uh, hunger zero, but uh, I'll bring you back uh, in case such a thing happens. Not a hungry dragon, but we did get a cargo pods of bear berries. Now I'm not sure if dragons are only carnivores, so let's take a look at their diet. Which should be around here somewhere. Oh yeah, vegetables, raw meat, corpses, seeds, meals. So <laughs> they are for some reason omnivores and these bear berries just just more food for the dragon. In other news we have blowback operation, so we can make auto pistols and machine pistols. Now that might be worthwhile to make. Uh, not this production. Um, which one is it then? Not the smelter. The machining table, perhaps? Yeah, but we wanted to get one up anyway. So let's do that. Hopefully we can get metal from slag, or maybe not. There's no slag inside our base. Uh, and as usual, I would prefer to use that. So where did our dragon friend go? Over here. They are very hungry, so I'm not entirely sure why it, haven't ha why it hasn't left yet. Hmm. Quite peculiar. You can see I am at the speed 4, trying to, get to see what happens. Uh, we get... Um, ambrosia addicted animals that is a world event so there is this ambrosia sprout which has man hunting animals uh, in it addicted to the ambrosia now that could have been a good thing for us to go for ah there we go the dragon is of course consuming the bear berries and is going to keep us locked up in our base for a while longer it's a good thing we are mostly self-sufficient around here at the moment uh, because otherwise it would be a little hard to survive in these conditions. Well, uh, I think that is going to have to be it for this episode. Next episode we are going to get gun turrets, so we are definitely going to start making uh, both an interior and exterior protection for the base. Hopefully we will deal with this dragon without getting everyone killed. Um, and yeah, so that, that is the plan. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below, subscribe for more Rimworld, and until next time, remember that here, uh, there be dragons. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk, and if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.